Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Bowman Baseball 12 box hobby edition. Pick your team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. There it is right here. Well, uh, we still have Nick Jaspi right there above my head helping out. So thanks to him and thanks to all of these people right here for getting into it. And we've got Jeremy33 who won the spot random. Nice, congrats. Malachi Dupree. DJ Shark. Good guess. I have no idea. Trevor T had a trivia question for us, folks. It was kind of a hard one. No one else is putting in guesses. Uh, what 2018 rookie wide receiver only had 29 receptions his freshman year, sophomore year, transferred schools, redshirted, then led the NCAA in receptions, and he was at LSU before he oh before he transferred. That's crazy. No, come on, Trevor. I mean, maybe it's a quarterback. Did anyone else want to venture a guess? That's a tough one. So there's all uh, 12 right here. And so you'll see Nick right, right above my head. He'll have the other boxes. He'll be helping pack stack to help this go a little bit more quickly. We've got another one after this. Another hobby, pick your team three after this. That'll bring us pretty much toward to the end of the night. We'll have time to do another jumbo, unless if, but if something else fills, then we won't have time to do another jumbo. We won't have time to do another, another hobby. It's like an hour and a half. Okay, and this receiver is still in the NFL. You got to give us hints. Like protein hints. Oh, don't worry, EA. You, next break will be will be nice and slow. It'll just be me. And I wish these could go faster. <laughs> you want these breaks to take longer, EA? It's already take over an hour. Yeah, we might have to do a spot random for the J for the uh, Jays and Jumbo Three. Unless a high roller wants to step up and just snag them. Scary money don't make money. So Anthony Miller maybe? It's sold out. Now it's just a spot right now. Oh, it is sold out. Oh, it is it is a spot random now, Patrick. And the, other team sold. and the other team sold. There you go. Oh, the pattern of the uh, yeah. Oh, I'm a fan of this break going faster. No matter how you break it. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Box number one. So once, as usual, we're going to breeze through the paper. Yeah, we'll totally, totally do that. Um, and we've got Jacob DeGrom to 250. We got Will Smith Atomic. Oh yeah, these are one per box. We'll we'll save these two. I'll save those up at the end of the break.
We got out of 250, Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays. He went to SMU. What team are you out? Trey Quinn. Trey Quinn? Mark was guessing Cortland Sutton. Did he really lead the... Wow, Brian got it. Trey Quinn. Did he really lead the NCAA in receptions? Didn't realize that. So remember, hobbies only have one autograph a box, so we'll be doing that. Jumbos have three per box, just FYI. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, John Samson was, well, John Samson said, Trey, what's his name? That doesn't work in Jeopardy, does it? That's out of 299, that Franklin Perez. Show me Franklin, show me Trey, what's his name? That'd be Aaron on Family Feud for sure. Survey says. Get 104, who was throwing to him? 114 receptions. There's the auto. Esturi Ruiz for the Padres. I think I forgot to publish the, this video here. All right, there you go. Friars on the board. Mark Matheson. There you go, Mark. All right, nice. Brian O has a baseball trivia question for us. So that was box one. So this is box two right here. This is box three. Wait, didn't we do this one the other night? Maybe I'll maybe I'll abstain. Top ten largest MLB stadiums by capacity. Actually, the people that, that were there in that one might not be here tonight, so we can do that one. Um, there's Mitch Keller. What's the biggest one right now? Biggest stadium right now? No idea. A's? Dodgers have a big ballpark. It's got to be Dodgers. Yankee Stadium's big. Dodgers or Yankees? That's a one out of five. Luis Gohara. Top 100. He's number 59. That is for the Bravos. Nick Hines. Nicholas. No ink. But still very nice. Out of five. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Oh, I thought we did this one. Or something similar to it. No, we can do it. I like it. Dodgers are one. 56,000. Dodger Stadium. Edward saying A's. A's has got to be one of them. Big Rig says Kaufman Stadium has to be in the top 10 somewhere. There you go. Dodger Stadium is one, 56,000. What do you think Yankee Stadium holds? 40? 40 something? 48? <clears throat> Low 40s? 
Yeah. Oh, Oakland's number seven. Capacity, 43,000. Well, I think they count the capacity. They block off a ton of seats. Yeah, they do. So it doesn't count towards the right. capacity. Right. Well, like, yeah. Oh, like the Raiders they, can hold like 70,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like o- Oakland A's. Yeah. That makes sense. So like Coliseum can hold like 100,000. Oakland Alameda Coliseum. I'm sure Angel Stadium's... There's our next autograph, Jonathan Hernandez, 136 out of 499. A little under, but 47,000 for Oakland. Maybe Atlanta's new city. Seattle's got to be up there. Field, the new one. Oh, SunTrust? Yeah. I think SunTrust is kind of small, isn't it? Really? Maybe Why it's build big. a new stadium if it's going to be small? They want the intimate at- atmosphere. They can't sell all the tickets, basically. <laughs> right, I guess you can just charge more for fewer seats. Oh, Seattle's number six, Nick H. Atlanta's, guess on the capacity? Atlanta's a soccer town now. Yeah, they're all about Atlanta United. Got three out of twenty-five. Adonis Medina, orange paper for the Phillies. Right. So if the A's are at seven with forty-seven thousand, and six is Seattle, I say it's forty. Like I'd say it's under fifty though. I say Seattle capacity is under fifty though. I want to say it's like forty-nine. There's uh, Chad Spangenberger, Blue Shimmer to 150. I bet Texas is up there. The Rangers. Oh, nice. So Brian says 47,000 on that one. Yankee Stadium has got to be. 49 and a half. Oh, yeah. Coors Field and, and uh, St. Louis, they've got to have. So here's box, the next box right there. I'm just guessing every stadium. There's Luis Garcia to 499 paper. Coors is number three. Coors has to have like 50 something, 52 something. But yeah, Toronto also has the hotel attached. So when people do. Adult things. You can see it on the game. Oh, really? Yeah. With the curtains open. Hmm, it's interesting. Yeah. Whoever designed that. Kind of a flaw. People just, well, why don't those people keep the curtains closed? Some people like that, I guess. Um, Edward, first break. Do we send email alerts when the break's happening? No, we do not, I'm afraid. We don't have that technology yet. Um, I'll bet Pick Your Team 4 will happen tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, though. Oh, Yankee Stand is 52, 325. And Coors is at 49,469. All right, there's Drew Waters, Atomic. Uh, you know, Vanilla Gorilla, um, people can come into the store and join breaks if they wanted to. It's happened. King D has visited us before. It's twice, actually. And the first time he was here, he did indeed join breaks. He purchased spots on his phone. And joined the breaks and hung out, and I handed hits to him, if there were any. I don't remember if there were any hits, but <laughs> we hand, handed the hits right to him. So people can do that. There's Nick Madrigal, 25 out of 25. Nice, good for you, Ryan. <laughs> nice, Nick Madrigal. Diamondback seems that'd be pretty big, right? Four, five, nine, and ten are left. Top ten stadiums by capacity, ladies and gentlemen. Just for funsies, and if for, for a bonus... Bonus bragging rights, you can guess try to guess the capacity. 
All right, out of 125, Nick Nider. Yeah, West has uh, some big stadiums and um, and old old stadiums. Nice, Nick. Nick H. Chase Field, number four. You have a guess on capacity? More space out here, too. All right, so here is another box. There's another box. Nick's Jasp, you can see on the top camera, sliding over another box. Jumbo 3 is gone. So the spot random sold out. It sure did. Nice. So we are full for the night, folks. So right now we're doing Pick Your Team. Uh, right now we're doing uh, Hobby, Pick Your Team 2. Then after this, we'll be doing Hobby, Pick Your Team 3. Then after that, we'll be Jumbo, Pick Your Team 3, after the spot random. And then that'll probably bring us to around 11.30 Pacific, around there. And then we're calling it a night. So there you go. There's Jonathan India. Nice. 50 out of 50. It's a Bowman Top 100 autograph. That's a nice one for the Red Legs. That goes to Big Boys 007. Rogers Center's got to be up there. No, uh, Korean. Mark, how'd you Mark, how'd you feel about No, second guess is wrong too. Is that Joe Matinho? Could be Joe Matinho. Alright, here's the next one. No, the, the little the little country in between. Uh, Mark, how'd you feel about Tiger Woods? There's Corbin Burns, a 250 per paper. All right, thanks, Ryan. That'll that'll be tomorrow. There's Julio Rodriguez, Atomic. Got Alec Baum, 40 out of 50 gold paper. What's that? I heard Liverpool. Liver yeah, Liverpool won. did win. I heard the other game. The other game, crazy. the Manchester City Tottenham match was, was insane. That's crazy. Now it's they were tied? just going. No, Tottenham won. Oh, really? Raheem Sterling scored a goal, so what and VAR if, said it was offsides. What happens if so the aggregate's it. tied after two matches? They, they break the tie with whoever scores the most away goals. Ah, so that was... So, yeah, that, so even though they lost, they scored two away goals, gotcha. which is tied with more away goals in Manchester City because they lost the first time. Um, Adonis Medina to 120. Basically, they had to... Um, score that last second goal. They had to score by two. They had to win by two yeah, to yeah, advance. Yeah. Right. Nice. Mark loves Tiger. Oh, nice. You got interviewed the next day by ABC6, Promise About End the Impact. Well, so, so give us, give, what's the scoop for those of us who don't have ABC6 in Providence? What is the, uh, what is the impact? I think it's, I think it's great. Yeah, but then again, 
Now golf is really relying even more. I know that's the other. That's the problem though. Golf still needs Tiger Woods. But I mean, they're doing good without him. But it is crazy how much he drives the rating. Well, people who don't even watch golf regularly, you know, will tune in to see like the spectacle. Yeah. You know, and those other guys really choke too. And I think sports betting will help it a lot too. It's really fun to bet on golf. But they basically need Tiger. They basically need Tiger to to beat Jack in majors. Yeah. And then be able to try to then say thanks. Be in the hunt. Right, and say thanks, Tiger. And <clears throat> I mean, then Jack Nicholas, he won the Masters when he was like forty six, I think. So think Tiger's so, yeah. forty three. So he's definitely got time. There's our next autograph. That's Miguel Amaya, one oh one out of four ninety nine. That's for EA and the Cubs. Nice. So it's great. The kids who don't really know Tiger Woods see how he was. I was talking to some high school kids that were four or five when Tiger won last one a major. Wow, it has been a while. Huh? All right, here's another box. There's another box right here. There's another box, and there's another box right over here. All right, next one here. Um, oh, so the last couple ballparks that we were missing was Arlington at 48,000. I didn't think that Camden Yards was that big. 45,000? Camden's a great ballpark. I would like to go there. It's an awesome one. The good thing about that is you can hit up Nationals Park right down the way. You can hit the Phillies Park, which is pretty close. Pittsburgh is a little further. But that's why the East Coast is... Good for baseball. Yeah, it's They're all really close. close. Yeah. Do they take like buses there? Like if they're traveling like, to like, like the short the Nationals distance? and Orioles do, yeah, for sure. Got a nice uh, orange chrome, four out of twenty-five. Uh, Freudis Nova. That is for the Astros. That's going to go to Sean Parr. Where you got beaten the head with a baseball? Or a golf club? You had beers with a guy who bought Tiger's house at Islesworth where the incident happened? Which incident? She, oh, when she, when she with, the golf club. with the golf club. Oh, yeah. But then he denies it. But we all know it happened. But we all know it happened, right. Didn't his car get busted, too? Like, yeah, she hit his car up, too. I mean... With good reason, but... Can you maybe imagine? Not, maybe not golf club. How, how pissed would you be? Maybe not golf club to the head. Not one, <laughs> not just one, not just two. Yeah, like 90. <laughs> and I mean, yeah. At a 499, Austin Beck. There is Fortis Nova again, Atomic. So these are not numbered, but they're one per box, one per hobby box, hobby only. Those are just facsimile autos there. Should we check some baseball scores? Got some finals up in this? I had financial interest in the Yankees, and they won 5-3. I had financial interest in the Pirates. Pirates won in extras, 3-2. Nationals, I think they were winning. Nationals won 9-6. Diamondbacks, 
I think they're playing right now. Diamondbacks are playing right now. They're in the 10th inning. They just scored. They're up 3-2. Oh, man. I'm doing great. Blue Jays? Blue Jays are down three runs. And the Angels. I'm on the Angels tonight. They're down a few runs, but they still have some time. Nice. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Brian, oh, don't, enc don't encourage this. I don't even know where, where the nearest sticker dealer is. T-Bone X. Still on at 11. Eastern. Yes. We, we go until uh, we go until 11 o'clock Pacific. Oh, you're talking about eBay. That's on a different channel. If you look at your item description, scroll down a little bit. It's in the studio behind me. Um, it's in the studio behind me, but on a different channel. Uh, EA, yes. For the recaps, yes. Yeah, I think I breezed by those last time. A little too quickly. Um, sorry, this guy goes to Nicholas Hines, by the way. These cards are pretty cool too. Talent pipeline. Are there autos on those talent pipeline? I don't think so. Like yeah, triple, triple auto would be pretty sick, right? Yeah, book cards. Like the ultimate book. <clears throat> uh, no, I don't think we've seen any royals yet. We still have many boxes to go. There's a med. There's Ronnie Mauricio. 004 out of 499. Metropolitans, that's going to go to EA. So he's got a Cub and a Met. Now, no Super Fractors yet. Kevin Rode was here yesterday. And he said Super Fractor, yes, plus 175. For f opening day? Yeah, opening. That's way too. I mean, I would smash the no. The no is minus 135. I, I would bet my entire <laughs> fortune on it, which is like $200. So I'd bet all that on it. <laughs> Oh man, you're you're gonna move the line. Yeah. <laughs> after after that two hundred bucks, yeah. you'd be like, oh dang. I mean, I want to hit one, but they're harder to hit than that. It'd be like ten to one. I would do that if I if I had to set it. Plus a thousand. Yeah. No mm. minus six so, seventy five. And I still think you get a lot of action on the no. I mean, what we did? We'll do six cases today. That's pretty. That's a lot of cards. Yeah. But. I don't think they come out every six cases. Out of 125, Julio Rodriguez. I mean, some of these super fractures, one in 168,000, one in 107,000, one in 294,000. I mean, it's tough. That's why they, that's why there are super fractures. One in 53,000. Wow. It's probably the lowest. So are you saying that, so, so. So, so do the odds on 53,000 hobby packs. That. That's, that's a lot of cases. That's 50 cases or something like that. That's a lot. But if we got the right case. But <laughs> but technically you could hit in multiple cases back to back super fractures. I don't know. So it may, maybe that Kevin Road book is going to go out of money, go out of business. Yeah. Oh, I'd, I'd sink it. Will, will I pull a Death Rage? Minus 2,500? I would say, I don't know. I would take the no on that at the plus money. You got to watch out for that sharp money, Brian O. You got to watch out for the steam movements, reverse line movements. How to find the value. Alex Verdugo, he's been playing pretty well. Limited playing time. Him and Jock Peterson battling for regular playing time. Both are playing pretty well. 
Verdugo a better pure hitter. Alex, although he's been showing some power too. There's Jonathan India, purple paper to 250. We've got Ornelius, Tirso Ornelius. It's another box right there. Did the auto come out of here? Oh, that was the Mets, right? It was the Mets auto. Yeah, I've been kind of mixing them. And there you go. Here is the next box right here. That's another box right here. Here's another box right This is a little bit taller, so it must be... Box and a half. Box and a half right there. So there's the stacks right there. Uh, there. There was a little bit more here. I just put it onto this side right here. Well, fine. There'll be 12 autographs at the end. That's all, that's all that matters. All right. Next one. Good luck. You're alive, Jason Jaspi. Made it. Is that the first one? Hour five? What was it, a hobby? Yeah. You did a hobby in hour five? And I split it too because I wanted to see how fast I could split it. Oh, man. <laughs> did you go one box at a time? No, I did all 10, 12 boxes. Did you rip everything first? Yeah. And then you just went? Yeah. Interesting. All right. That's the way to do it. Oh, there's the other autograph. The first 20 minutes, the there's first 20 minutes. Julio Pablo Martinez. Yeah, it's probably like elevator music. All right, that's for the Rangers. That'll be for Sean Parr. Remember what we did? A couple. Yeah, we did a 20 case, and then we. No, that was. That was 20, yeah. When we first were here, we did 20, but then we did a 10 of Bowman Draft. And then we did one in Asia, too. So we had to fly home with the cards. That was when Axel, we first got him. Yeah, we got him that day. Taylor Trammell to 75. Oh, wait, the burger stand down the street in the liquor store? That burger stand? I haven't been to that. But it's like Standing room or whatever it's, it's called? Like LA's top burger. That's what I hear. Like LA Magazine. But since it's in the back of a... In the back of a liquor store. Of a liquor store. I think they opened one for most of now. That's separate. Right, so I'll, have to, I'll have to check that out. But they're like gourmet burgers. They put like, you know, like eggs on some. Ooh. That kind of stuff. I like it. I like an egg on a burger. Avocado. I can do an avocado egg on a burger. It's like hipster burgers. Kind of. Out of one fifty, but it's in the back of a. There's uh, Sandro Fabian. Well, that's the most hipster thing. That oh, one. that's in the that's the hipster thing yeah. about it. It's in the back of a liquor store. Yeah. Okay. I eat gourmet burgers at the back of a liquor store. Yeah. It's good for the liquor store, though. I don't. Know. They're renting out that space and just selling drinks. I don't think standing room sells drinks. You have to buy it. Oh, drink. so you buy from the liquor store. That's, genius. That's a good relationship there. Genius. All right, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, we are full for the night. We're doing Hobby Picker. If you see the schedule in the chat right now, we're doing Hobby Picker Team 2. We're going to do a quick recap of this break right afterwards in a separate video. Then we're doing... Hobby Picker Team 3. I'll be doing that solo. And then we'll be doing Jumbo 3. And that'll bring us to the end of the night. It's Michael Chavez again. Atomic Refractor. It's one per box. So all other breaks uh, that fill will be for mañana. Will be tomorrow. I'm sure we'll do a few more Bowman, three or four more Bowman cases tomorrow. There's Wander Franco to 4.99. We haven't seen him his autograph yet. 
I'm sure we'll get some other breaks tomorrow as well. My hope is that we'll knock out a bunch of Bowman tomorrow, folks. So that paves the way to get us to flawless football on Friday. There's Justin Verlander to 499. There's Atomic Luis Robert for the White Sox. We got Will Smith, another catching prospect for the Dodgers to 125. It says third base there too. Maybe maybe they'll put him in after Justin Turner gets too old. Slot him there. There's Joe Adele. We've been pulling some nice autograph folks, but we have not seen any of the big names yet. We haven't seen Vlad Guerrero Jr. This is for we haven't break. seen Fernando Tatis Jr. We have not seen any of the other big names. Wander Franco we haven't seen yet. Some solid autographs. So this is this is all all prospecting, ladies and gentlemen. These aren't split, right? I can just throw them in there? Yeah. Do we have more of these guys? Yeah, we do. There's three done here. Oh, okay, perfect. That's what. That's all I need. And nice, orange, for the orange birds, Ryland Bannon. Twenty-three. Jordan out of twenty-five. Orange chrome autograph going to Michael Booth. In relation to Steve Bannon. Michael Booth. Wait, relation to who? Steve Bannon. Who's Steve Bannon? That politician guy. Never mind. No, I don't, I don't know a Steve Bannon. Maybe he's in Trump's cabinet. Oh. And this guy is in Baltimore. It's close to D.C. Oh, well, maybe, maybe it is. It could be Steve Bannon's brother. Son. Peter Alonzo has been playing pretty well for the Mets. And Luis Urias. Ryan Mountcastle, who used to uh, be my favorite last name in baseball until Death Rage came along. Let's grab this box right here. There's Rowdy Tellez. I'm sure it's Death Rage, but Death Rage sounds a lot better. And we got Brock Burke. Nice, out of 299. I like that, that uh, speckle pattern that they have here. It's pretty cool. That is for the Tampa Bay Rays. Calvin Chang with the Rays. There you go, Calvin.
at AJ Puck to 250 purple chrome. And there's Tirso Ornelius to four ninety nine. Thanks for your help, Nick. Yeah. Mike Trout. Bowman Day. Bowman Sterling. Bowman Day. Should be a holiday. Yeah, should be a holiday. Bowman. <laughs> yeah, everyone should get Bowman Baseball Day off so they can just kick back and relax. There's Nick Madrigal. Twelve out of fifty. Here's the back of those Bowman Sterling cards right there. They look pretty cool. They're bringing Bowman Sterling back, ladies and gentlemen. Bringing it back. Bring it on back. What are you looking for? Oh. Is it on top right here? Tools. Under my backpack, maybe? There's JT Real Muto who had a big game yesterday out of 25. Orange paper. Got lost in the sauce. Dustin May, who TJ's been saying is crushing it. Dust off your Dustin May autographs. Ladies and gentlemen, you might be up before you know it. Right, kids, just a few sacks to go right here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we should be expecting three more autographs out of here. All right, see ya. There's Dal Lugo, DL Hall to 150. Brady Singer Atomic. So we've got a couple Atomics there. Justice Sheffield in his Seattle gear. His brother Jordan Sheffield in the Dodgers organization. It's Bo Bichette. It looks like the uh, Blue Jays have a lot of the players' kids. I think they have a. They, I think they have a Clemens in their organization. They have Guerrero Jr. They got Bichette. It's kid. I think they have a Phil Nevin's kid. I think they have Biggio's kid, and they have a Clemens on there too. One of Roger Clemens' kids. Rex, what's going on? Uh, Rex is asking, anything big yet? Yes. This one right here. 35 out of 99 
on card Bowman Sterling autograph Wander Franco for the Tampa Bay Rays. That's big. We've been pulling some nice stuff all day. And then we've got this one right here. That is strong. Nice. Who has the Tampa Bay Rays? Calvin with the Rays. There you go, Calvin. Nice. Wander Franco, that, that is one of the big names in not only baseball, but in the hobby, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. All right. Yeah, about two million dollars for that card, Rick Barker. Ryan, what are you saying? You talking? And you, <laughs> your old lady was asking you why you keep watching this channel because she thinks that you are gay. Your your wife said this to you. Damn. Yeah, you, you you told her that the cards pay for the bills. There's another autograph right here. Tursos Ornelius for the uh, Padres. Speaking of the Rays, Rex is saying, what's going on in the AL East? Well, it looks like the Red Sox are suffering from a World Series hangover. Uh, Mark Matson with the Friars. Looks like they're suffering from a World Series hangover. Yankees just hasn't just really been going right. Oh, Nevin's kids in Colorado? Um, I, I knew who Wander Franco was before tonight. I maybe didn't know him maybe a month ago. <laughs> but hey, that's the beauty of these breaks, folks. It's time to, it's time to learn all the new prospects. There's Andrew um, Nisner. That K must be silent out of 299. Were there two autos in that box? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten autos. That's a, and this is eleven. We may have twelve, thirteen right here. Rex is saying Cubs are trying to play better. There's Keston Hiura, 42 out of 50. That's for Brian O and the Brewers. No ink, but one of those Bowman top 100 cards. There's Hunter Green, 75 for the Reds. I think he just went down with Tommy John surgery, right? Something like that. Once again, these are facsimile autographs, not the actual ones. Well, it helps, Rex, when the when you run into a team like the Marlins. That that gets the team back on track. I don't know the, the Dodgers were in the midst of middle of like a six or seven game losing streak. Thank God they met the Reds. They got to get back on track against the Reds. There's Logan Allen to 150. Yeah, 
Yeah, Rockies are off to a bad start too, Rick Barker is saying. I did not expect that. I could see a little bit of a World Series hanger for the Red Sox. Um, I could see the Rays starting off as hot as they as they have. You know, but I just didn't really see that with... Uh, I didn't think the Rockies would start off as, as slowly as they did. I didn't think the Padres would start off as, as, as quickly as they did. No, I got I got Mookie on my fantasy team, Eric, and he's hitting like two hundred after like fifty some odd at bats. There's a uh, Novelli Marte Atomic. Taylor Trammell. All right, and this last stack here should be expecting at least one more autograph. There's Austin Riley for the Braves to 4.99. There's Chad uh, Spangenberger. No relation to Corey Spangenberg. Yeah, that might have been a box that was mixed in with another box. Well, we're going to find out in a second. No, I think just one more, Darren. There's one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's this is ten. That's eleven. And there should be um, one more to make twelve in the twelve one auto per box. There's Kybert Ruiz, Atomic. Yeah, the the it does kind of the it does seem kind of kind of cut weird, right? I do like that design, but then it just looks like it's cut a little weird, but that's intentional. So it throws me a little bit. What up, Joe P? What do you mean you're on you're on eBay? You're on our eBay live? Sure did, Joe P. There he is right there on a on card, Bowman Sterling insert. Oh, 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 I see. Are you, are, the chat was on the... Okay, I see what you're saying, Joe. Yeah, that is a good-looking one. They're bringing Bowman Sterling back, Joe. Bring it back sometime this year. I'm sure we'll have some. Uh, 
Oh yeah, Nick was helping pack stack, so there's like a there's like a second camera here. Oh, and there's Mason Martin. Is our last autograph Pirates. That goes to Michael Gallucci, Pittsburgh Pirates. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the break. That is 12 box hobby. Pick your team two of the brand new 2019 Bowman Baseball. Thanks everybody for getting in. Appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Jazbeescasebreaks.com.